Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Back here in surviving as a trader in space. And today we have come across something new. So let's go check it out. Right, so I realized some of this stuff is kind of wrecked for some odd reason. <laughs> I guess even though we have shields, bullets are kind of coming through a bit. Which could be a little bit alarming. But sure. Alright, so we have continued our travels to Mars. And we came across something new. So Mars would be right over there. Which is where I'm trying to he head to. I'm kind of maybe rethinking that because we're 1,674 kilometers away. And we're not really getting here <laughs> much closer. I feel like at this point, maybe we should turn back around um, to the Chrono Station or even further back to the HS, which is 300 away, which is pretty bad as well. So we're kind of caught in between um, where we are. But I did realize I forgot something from the last episode is that I did dismantle a lot of field emitters. So I should be able to make a lot of superconductors. So hopefully that is the case. Because as you see here, a superconductor costs 3.3D iron, but 67 gold. And a field emitter has a ton of iron and a ton of gold. 26, 67, and 5. I think I did the calculations for it so I could make 600 of these things. So if that's the case, I'm going to queue up 600. Hope for the best and maybe be able to put a jump drive in here. Although, we have a bit of a power problem when it comes to that too. And our hydrogen is at 66%, which is not great. But other than that, we have something right in front of us that's right there across here. And I just saw another Mayday thing at 2 kilometers away for some odd reason. <laughs> um, but right in front of us, I should really install the binoculars. Um mod but right in front of us right there is is that it <laughs> is that what i'm looking at i don't think that's what i was looking at but i could be wrong but we're gonna go ahead and check that out so it should be right in front of, front of us or is that right or was that two kilometer away one um the beacon that we're looking at right there is that it? I'm not even sure what's what at this point. So I guess we could just fly a little closer and find out. Oh, it's this thing right here that we're looking at. <laughs> not that little asteroid bit. But we found this. I guess we drifted a little bit from the last save for, for whatever reasons. I'm not even sure what's on this thing. And I don't have any ammo. But I think this is the trap ship <laughs> or just random drop pod ship where if i were to get inside it oop, it just started yeah where i think if i get inside of it right over here uh or back here it's gonna trap me in there and launch me to space or is this actually a just random encounter piece that's what is this a toilet or is this the random encounter that's just here? It looks like it's just a random encounter, actually. So, interesting. Not too bad of a find, I guess. There's some 13 superconductors there. I'm not sure what we could find here. I was actually hoping it to be that trap ship where you get inside of it. It'll just launch you away. <laughs> fly away with you. Um, but this doesn't seem to be that. So that's good, I guess. We could utilize the ship on our ship, for sure. Um, maybe there's a way to assimilate this onto it. So let me just GPS point to this. I'm just going to GPS 1. I know where that is, because the antenna doesn't really seem to work. Oh, I should just turn off 
the antenna anyway. Eh, it doesn't matter. And I also did realize during editing that when I panicked with the small ship that I found <laughs> that I wanted to keep, it couldn't connect it. I couldn't get the landing gears and everything like that because I panicked so hard that I forgot I had my shields on. And the shield was actually preventing me from uh, having the small ship get inside the field. <laughs> so that was the big problem. And a funny problem. So I smacked it once or twice to the shield. And I couldn't do too much from there. Because the Reaver ship had came and attacked us anyway. So that was hilarious. At the same time, pretty bad. But still, nonetheless, pretty funny in terms of me panicking a little bit too hard. <laughs> when it came to the Reavers attacking us. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because we it doesn't we again don't have much ammo. So we can't really do too much. Um, but we could assimilate this ship with ours. I gotta figure this out a little bit. So I'm thinking if this is the front, I kinda wanna make this a little bit um unsymmetrical. In the uh, unsymmetrical? <laughs> non symmetrical? What is the word I'm looking for? So I kind of want to put it on the side of my ship attached kind of right here, if anything. So that being right side up. All right. So we just got to get to this pointer right over here, if anything. So we just got to situate this a little bit better. Is this correct? Yes. So I want to be right over here with my ship. So how do I best do that mm, without having any viewpoints? Why do I have two unknown signals? <laughs> Interesting. One doesn't have a timer. Oh, I don't know what's going on there, to be honest. Um, I don't even know where the ship is right now, but... What we can do is look at the ship like so first. And we might even have enough power, or not power, but mats to even fix it up a little bit more so we can use utilize it too. All right, so we're just going to turn this thing around ever so slightly to match up with it. And I think this will kind of do. All right, and that's not perfect, but it's it's sim it's it's kind of where I want it to be. So I want to merge it. Unfortunately, I'm going to merge it to this door spot right over here. So I am going to need the help of a merge block. Um, probably here. I think that's where I'm going to put a merge block. Maybe not the best placement, but good enough for me uh, temporarily. I'm going to put it right over here. Doesn't seem too bad, actually. Um, we just got to alter this thing right over here a little bit. We just do, yeah, right there. That would be perfect. And then we just got to do a merge block on one of these spots. Well, hopefully you take down the toilet seat. It doesn't come out with poop. <laughs> Which, lucky it doesn't. <laughs> um, we just got to make a hole for this as well. So, I like to have the other merge block probably right over here. So, I could just put it like so, hopefully. Yep, that works. And what I'm going to do is actually... But the doorway or a hole is going to be right over here. So we can go inside of it. And it looks like there's a medical room here with no medical components. Ah. I was actually hoping that it had medical components, but it doesn't. All right. So that's fine. So we could just grab that stuff there and get itself a, a camera so we can actually see out of here. That would be probably an ideal thing to do. Um, where can we put a camera? I'm not even sure at this point. 
point. I mean, we could put it right on the merge block for now. <laughs> Just to see how close we are to it. And then we could take it off, if anything. So we're on the merge block. So this is actually perfect. Like the perfect view for or angle for this. Uh, Alright, I'm starting to get a little bit lost on where the buttons are. Alright, here we go. So hopefully we do this. And that will work out. Ooh. I think I nudged it a little bit, so that's gonna, not going to be a good thing. <laughs> so we may need the help of a mounted camera if anything but I hope this will be more than enough to get into it oh that's not good um there's a shield in here that kind of stopped me from connect being able to connect to it so that's not a good thing and I'm drifting off a little bit too from it. So I gotta find a way to stop it from drifting. And that's probably gonna be to turn on the thruster of anything. Apparently I can't hack it if it was below the line for whatever reason. Alright, so is there no there's no thrusters going this way, so that's a problem. So let's just throw in a... Do we have enough for an ion thruster? Probably not, do we? Let's see. Do we have enough for an ion thruster? No, we don't. But that's fine. We can strip one out of there. Hopefully. Like, grab one from here. Uh, that doesn't have much at all. It looks like only this one has. Just grab that one. I want it to stop moving. If it can. There. So as long as it stops moving, we should be fine. Alright, it's ever so drifting a bit. So this became a bigger ordeal than it's supposed to be. And that is because I messed up. <laughs> Should have put a top mounted camera here in the first place. Instead. And the other thing to do is knock out that shield emitter if I can. Because it did see a bit of a shield when I bumped into it a bit. Um, where's the shield emitter? On the bottom. I remember seeing it at one point right here. Or at least the shield controller. Let's just take out the shield controller. Uh, we leave this thing alone. And this thing is still drifting a little bit, I think. It is. Ever so slightly. So, which way is it drifting, though? Am I going down? <laughs> if I'm going down... Then I'm going to grab that. And... Put on this one. And I think that was it. Yeah. Alright. Perfect. So that's stopped and slowed down. And we just got to make our way back. With this really very, very terrible view. Alright. Got our top mounted camera. Back it up a little bit. It's really, really hard to do without another player, if anything, and also without third person view. But I guess it kind of works out with the camera and everything, too. Alright, so if I nudge it again, it's gonna fly away. Which should be okay. I really do wish we had more thruster components. We might have. 
I'm going to explore that in a second. I'm going to try not to get right into it just yet. I want to see what it's looking like first. And I got to stop spinning this thing before I get out. All right, we are looking pretty good. It's a little bit off, as you see there. Um, I'm going to grab the thrust components off of this thing. And throw it back on here. Just in case I bump it. Alright, so I need to not be so <laughs> tilted to the right. And that should do it. And if I get close like this, we should be good. Let's double check that just in case. Alright, we are still a little off in terms of the tilt. So we gotta move it that way a little bit. We get a little bit closer. I think we're good there. That should be it. I hope. Mm, still a little off. So we need to tilt a little bit more this way and down. And I hope that should be it. I'm gonna slightly get to it i hope it merges all right we are probably like an inch away nope we're about <laughs> maybe five feet away if anything but i think we got the idea here i'm gonna move this ever so slightly and right, now we should be very very close so down a little bit in Tilt a little bit more to the left again. And that should be it. There. Did I get in? Perfect. Now we can get rid of that piece. And that piece to do a bit of a more aesthetic pleasing look here by adding half blocks I guess and we got a little bit of a bridge system right here oh there's a reverse slayer after us all right we're gonna head out if we can and trying to avoid a reaver as much as possible since we got the ship kind of Merged in, it's time to go. All right, we're gonna fly towards it. That's a bad idea. So we're gonna try to fly away from it as much as we can. And our destination is Mars, so hopefully we can outfly it and they won't follow us. I do hope. And at the same time, I'll just address the ship as we go. So every time I get close to a ship or do something with a new ship. The reavers is gonna have to come after us. Don't know why. <laughs> it's just the, it's just the way it is. All right, we're flying far, further, further away from it, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna edit this wall out a little bit. Um, which we could just use a full block, if anything. I think. Mm, not sure what to use here, but. Okay, that's the window. Um, let's just use full block for now. We'll, we'll figure it out later. If there's a way to make this look a little bit better. Alright, I think I lost it. So we're good. I mean, we could... We could stay in place and hunker down if we want. I kind of want to do that. So... I don't have to worry too much about it. All right, so let's get rid of this thing here. We don't need that there. Um, the refinery we could keep if we want. I don't mind it. The timer is what I want to get rid of. And maybe the antenna. Don't need that broadcasting where we are currently. <laughs> Take out this timer as well. 
And then we have another refinery here. We have our refinery, but we have one here too now. That's that's great. Which is also unnecessary, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Um, battery, I could take apart, but I need some power cells just in case. Which we... Oof, we lost six. Okay, that's fine. We could survive that. No big deal. Doesn't look like we have power cells, so we gotta make... Did all those superconductors? Oh, yeah, they did. I'm good for a jump. That's even better than I thought. So now we can get to Mars much, much quicker. Um, but battery's still a problem, but we we can resolve that issue for relatively soon. Don't know how I made seven <laughs> power, um, but sure. There you go. We got a full battery here. Well, nearly full battery, I want to say. Yep, nearly full battery. Got some... Ooh, that's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we got to find a way to connect all this into... Our ship as well. With some piping. Nothing in the connector. That's fine. This was the... Shield emitter. Or controller that was there. I could take this out. Keep the parts, which is a lot of parts. And recycle that if we need to for thruster components, I believe. Which would be perfect. Alright, shield emitter gone. I put a block here. A gravity gen here. I mean, we could use a gravity gen over there if we wanted to. We should put a light here, too. Kind of a bit hard to see right now. That's an assembler, which more or less we don't really need. Should be fine. Do we have the parts to do a grav gen? Yeah, we do. Pretty sure... I took a graph gender two in my time so far too. So we should always be able to make that. Alright, we got artificial gravity. Um pretty heavy in terms of artificial gravity. So let's just lower that. We don't need that heavy. 0.5 artificial gravity. It's not bad. Oh, the reaver's still there. <laughs> Yes, we can't relax. We're going to have to keep going. I mean, it's it's not getting much closer. But I don't want to get too... I don't want it to be close, too close to me. I'm going to keep it as far away. It says 9k away. If we make it about 15k away, we should be fine. So that it don't follow us. I'm good to go right over there. We don't have to go that, that fast. Oh. Okay, so don't take off your jetpack when you're going forward. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just wham right into the window. So that, that was, that was a fun experience. <laughs> All right, we got to get rid of the closest door out if we can. Looks like we need a few pieces of material. Of course, it's just hacked already and hacking again, it won't work for whatever reasons. Or I got to get below the line of hacking. That's a door right there. Got a nice little window right here. So that's functional. That's fine. This is fine. That's fine. Um, what is that? Ion thruster? We should have parts for an ion thruster, I think. I think. I could be wrong. So an ion thruster... 80 thruster components. And... We don't... We have 34. What does it make thruster components? Platinum, that's... And gold. Which we have from shield emitters, so that's good. So... It takes 80 for one. 
that'll make 300 maybe oh we might not have that much especially for cobalt all right so we might not have enough to be able to make all this potentially we'll, we'll see how it goes um i'm just gonna grab some more steel plates and continue to work on the ship but i do need oxygen um in my bottles which we have plenty of bottles fine and let's just keep drifting a little bit we can slow down the drifting if we want to but i think we should be okay we could keep the armory here i could always use it um but we just gotta make sure to take out or oh that's that's not what to do <laughs> uh oh that's fine there's all steel plates that I had in here do I want a refinery running over there? We could. It wouldn't be a bad idea. And it could be a assembler here. But the main plan was to kind of use a steel plate to seal up the ship. Which is the main thing I want to do. And keep with the design if we can. Um, I don't have the color scheme to go with it right now. Because I've been building um, my plastic white on the replacement parts for now. And I do that just to, to see like where we made these replacements. <laughs> I'm not sure what this look was going for. <laughs> but it looks like the ship is fairly exposed. Yeah, it looks like it is designed that way to be fairly exposed. With the refinery out here and the battery out here. Oof, that's pretty rough to have that all outside. Um, we could do something about it, but here's our new ship. We should we should be able to extend it out a little bit further to make a longer bridge. But I, I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. It would just it doesn't make a lot of sense to push it too close. It needs a little bit of separation, which we should have made it a little bit longer in terms of the separation. Um, initially. But we, we can't do that now because we're being chased by a reaver. Unless we lost it. If we did lose it, then I, I should be able to do that length. I think we, it should be about block difference. Potentially. But let's see. Right, so this thing was built kind of like... Like this, I guess. Or there's a thrust there. So we just put a regular block as a replacement for now. And as simple as that, I think this is what it looked like. And it looks like there's a slope block on the inside. Right? Right there, yeah. So it's sloped this way. And that's the ship, basically. <laughs> uh, not too bad. You have refinery access. You have assembler access up here. The rest is ion thrusters that are going to be a bit harder to um, kind of get together. But it looks like I'm able to make 250, so that's not too bad. The forward thruster or backward thruster was here and should be here, I think. That's where it initially should be at. Yeah, in this design. But where's the side thrusting? So, uh, it's over here. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. It was over here. So I'll take this one out to take this and replace it over here. Is what we want to do. So we have side thrusting there. Oh, there's a wandering merchant over there, but we could forgo that for now. Just want to travel as far away as we can from the um, that reaver, just in case. I think the thruster would go here. 
And we're missing a block, which should be that right there. Okay, should we try to stop and hopefully the reaver is not around? Or another mayday thing just popped up right 19k away this way. <laughs> So if that is the case, I'm going to maybe float around very, very slowly. So let's just say roughly 10 meters per second, which isn't much at all. But it'll be a nice little drift, I think. So we'll keep it as that. All right. I think we're good to go and then just throw in the thruster components where we can. this thing here and of course that's gonna slow us down which is not what I wanted <laughs> it should turn it off first before completing the assembly it's funny it's actually behind us I just saw it right there <laughs> we're not heading backwards we're not heading towards where the reaver is um, aiming for us is this gonna melt me down mm, don't know We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely need that separation right over here, but that's fine. Oof. We need more thruster components. We're off by 240. That's a lot. And it looks like we ran out. <laughs> Uh, what we run out of iron and cobalt. Ooh, shield emitters don't have that, but metal grids do have cobalt, so we should be okay there. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I want to hope that is the case. Fifty-five. Ooh. Hydrogen left. We have to turn off our hydrogen engines, probably. Battery wise, we're not looking too good. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not looking that great. Mm, okay, so refineries and assemblers that are left here. Do we have enough to complete it? Yes, we do. Or at least the assembler. Of course, it's access denied. Now that's ours with nothing in it. And let's see if we can. I think the trader is coming towards us a little bit. 8.6. Actually, I think that's a new one. Yeah, th no, that's a trade station. Ooh, we can stop there. All right, we got to plot new courses. Got nothing in there. All right, let's plot a new course. Hopefully they sell hydrogen. Or where did it go? Right there. This way. All right, we'll, we'll slowly drift to it and keep an eye on it. Hopefully we don't get ourselves in trouble. Um, we need a lot more. Trust the components, but we'll leave that. I mean, we are just going to dismantle shield emitters in this case um, to get that working. We need this to be done so that we're airtight here, I think. Of course, we need 80 of them, so that's not going to work. Okay, let's figure out if there's anything else that's in here that needs me to access. Mm, no, they're just everything incomplete. So everything's mine. Perfect. The small little ship. It wasn't something significant. So um, that's not too bad. I need to break this apart to make it one one length longer. So the merge block could be on the outer side. But I need to stop both our ships to do this. All right, let's stop it for now. And we should be stopped. All right, perfect. So let's cut this in half. Oh, actually, not this one. Let's cut this one. 
and oof is this connected in any way e no okay that's fine and we cut this yes and then we gotta cut either one of these let's just do this one now that ship is separate from our ship We'll fly away from it ever so slightly because we're going to put a, oh, yeah, we did separate. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. So what I really wanted to do was put a little bit of separation there. That doesn't look too, like, clumped together. So one or two away would be better. I think two might be worth wild. So we do that. Two blocks this way and then same thing with this one. We'll do one, two right there. And this one should be the merge block actually. And that should give that separation. Yes, it does. Just a bit. <laughs> not by too much but this more than enough i hope i could just get close to it so it doesn't break anything or push it oop i pushed it okay i don't know why it did not want to lock in oh because i didn't even put in the merge rock directly so <laughs> That's on me. This thing doesn't even have a gyroscope, I just realized. Alright, let's put a merge block the correct way. <laughs> That's so sad. Um We need this one or downwards because it's still moving. Right, that's good. All right. We will have to follow along here. Ooh, I'm a little nervous because of the there's a potential chance for the reaver to come again. I think we're good, right? Yeah, so down and tilt a little bit more, and then we should be fine. Tilt, down, camera. Line it up. I think this will do it. If I'm not too high up. Right, I think we're good there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna continue to drift ever so slowly to the trade station, the orbital trade station. It's a little bit different of a station. We have some ion thrusters on, so let's see. All right, we're good there. And see what this looks like. Let's throw on the half blocks really quick. And there we go. Alright, so that's not looking too bad. It's a little bit of a bridge thing here. We could design it out with a window or some other block instead. Or we could just leave it like that. Not a big deal. And that's looking good. We could seal this off on the top with panels or even a, a window if we can. Um... Probably a window would be better so we can see. But for now, we'll just do this. There we go. So, 
looking a little odd for now. Did I make it too far stretched out? Mm, maybe one would have sufficed a little bit, but we could redesign it as as we merge it closer, if anything. So, not worried about that. Let's get rid of this camera and place that with this. Yeah, we could definitely redesign it a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. So, that should be fine. Um, but in terms of thrusters... We got side thrusting up and forward and side thrusting. So we got one of each at least, I think, right? Except for downwards. There's no downwards one, I think. That is a collector here. Interesting. <laughs> so instead of a collector, we could put the downwards one. Potentially. Yeah, that's interesting. There's no downward. Oh, right here is the downwards one. So is that the way it's supposed to look? Guess so. We'll put that one together just to give it an extra thruster. So thrust on all sides is what I'm looking for. So that's downwards. Then I would think this side would probably would have been the same. So if anything, we'll put it downwards like this. Maybe. I'm not sure. That should kind of go with the design. Not sure what they were going with this thing right here. <laughs> but we'll, we'll do something with it. So it's, it's all grouped up like this. And then we have the front one, which is fine. We could make this pointed out a little bit more, a little bit better. I think the windows on the outside, which is why they have these steel catwalk, is fine. But I'm going to take that steel catwalk and replace it with... Something like that instead. The window should still intact, leaving it that way, but just doing this. Um alright, we're far away. <laughs> Starting to figure out how far we are, but we're just slowly drifting towards it. Just in case. Um ooh. If I actually did three, I could put a, a door system right here so I can get in from there. Mm. Alright, so just rounding this out to look like this. We could put windows instead, but we didn't do a window. Um, we could also definitely put the seat up closer if we wanted to. Actually, windows probably would have been better. <laughs> so you can see. Um, uh, that's fine. That seat's not necessarily for really seeing too much anyways. Yeah, I mean, we don't even need a seat here, to be honest, but we'll leave it for now. Let's build this thing out a little bit more. And then we got to plan out the plumbing if we are going to plumb into it. I am kind of curious to see what this design was supposed to be, because if we're following the same thing, then it has this piece here, which is, I think, a little weird, but it also did try to bounce it out right here, too, which is a bit awkward, but we do need to find a way to cover this up a little bit, um, which it could be kind of like half block situations like that. Trying to do, I would probably do something like this, just for funsies, like so. That would probably do. <laughs> Don't like the fact that is not the most symmetrical piece when it comes to the refinery, but of course the refinery with the mods make it even three wide. Right now it's just a two wide block situation, but this could be it the way we should be covering this up a bit um so that we don't get too damaged like this here right in the middle we'll go with this kind of design here that i'm working with and of course same thing right here it's you do the same exact thing as the design since it's already on the other side has that right there so that kind of works out Alright, 
So that's looking decent. I mean, we just got to fill in some spots here, which isn't too bad. This, again, could be speed mods, but I'm not sure what's going to be up here. I mean, it could just be pipings, if anything. But everything should be piped in pretty well right now as it stands. Really don't understand this piece right here, but we'll figure that out eventually. And I feel like, yeah, I think we did one too many right here. But if we could just do this, then it kind of makes it a little bit better. Slightly. <laughs> so the wandering merchant seems to be kind of following me too. So I guess that's a good thing at the same time. All right. So the ion thrusters, that's not going to be done anytime soon, I think. Um, all right, so we did say we want to pipe this thing somehow. And most of our piping is down here. So I don't even know why I put this here. So let's just get rid of that for now. <laughs> Pretend that was never there. All right, so now we need a little bit more doors when it comes to getting into the ship. Well, actually, we already have like a couple of entryways too. Um, we are still slowly heading there and we're almost there actually. So this is not too bad. So we got three cockpits on the ship, which is not too crazy. Um, and I can always go down from here. All right, so this is airtight, which is perfect. I'm not sure if we're airtight down there. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, I am upside down. <laughs> How did that happen? Don't know. And right, let's just go down. I know we're looking up, but this is down this way. And if we close this door, we shouldn't be airtight yet because of that. Okay, so end that. So we still need some more thruster components, which we can't make, it seems, because we ran it out of cobalts. So get rid of more metal grids. How much metal grids do we have? Um, Still a decent chunk of it, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. We are getting really, really close now. So we're just going to wait to dock into that. Um, All right. We are slowly getting here. Wandering Merchant's like tailing right behind us. I might just go towards it once I dock in. If I can. And turn on my iron thrusters. You get some power, so it's not too bad. Morning Merchant actually might come to the trade station. I mean, it is the same faction, so. Alright, I see the connector right over there. And we can spin this thing ever so slightly. I think I'm thinking we need a little bit extra gyroscopes relatively soon. <laughs> and I think the trade merchant or wandering merchant might actually make it here. If it does, that'd be great. I can easily buy and sell stuff if that's the case. All right, so that should be. Ooh, we don't have a connector there. Don't know which one is the connect up front anymore because we had to replace it at one point in time. So let's just go and see what that is. And we were pretty close. So this is going to be the BOT bot. And we need the bottom connector. Which lock? And it looks like we're a little off. There we go. Locked in. All right. We made it. Reaver avoided. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the medical components come out of the medical bay that was here. That would have been very, very helpful. We got a refinery assembler, armory, and a small little car container, which we don't really need. So we can scrap that eventually. 
piping. One decent spot would be right over here, but requires me to move the iron thrusters. Um, or we pipe from here, which is the turret, which we just remove the turret and then pipe it in this way if need be. It wouldn't be terrible. Okay, so that thing is not necessarily coming my way, is it? Hard to tell. I don't think so. No, it's not, but it's it's pretty close. I'm going to fly by it, see what they sell. And it looks like it stopped. Perfect. So you got a lot of missiles, right? Maybe I shouldn't hold a, a rifle in front like that. So, hi, how you doing? Um, what do you have for sale? Girders, metal grids, things like that. Okay. There's superconductors, too, and thruster components. Ooh, medical components. We need that. I mean, it would be helpful to have, but probably not useful. Nothing worth really selling. Buying-wise, I think we're good here. We're not that great here, I think. But metal grids at 2769, is that cheap? I think that is fairly cheap. But I can't, uh, I don't even have much money, so that's, that's another problem, so... We'll just stand by for now. Not much we can really purchase there, so we, we can wait. It's not a big deal. Oh, now it's heading off in a different direction. I wonder if it does drop by here. That'll be interesting. <laughs> okay, let us... We should be fine in here all right piping we were talking about maybe we do pipe from here i don't think we'll pipe from the ground up because it's just one block yeah that's just one block so we do have to pipe it kind of from the outside in and it might just take out this turret to do that um and i follow along the lines here pipe to here to a conveyor junction of anything that gets into this here we don't need this connector so we can, we can just get rid of that. I think that's the way we're going to build out the piping. The other option would be from the top. Which wouldn't, would, wouldn't be too ideal, I think. Well, I don't even think we have a top connector anywhere. Doesn't look like it. So, that's probably out of the picture. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe drop a comment down below and of course i'll see you guys next time bye